Late last week, just as I was preparing to go home for the weekend, an email popped into my inbox from the press team at Charge America, the electric car charging provider and advocacy group set up by Volkswagen as part of its court-mandated penance for building diesel engine cars designed to cheat in emissions tests. Now, I'll admit, I don't normally read emails that come in last thing on a Friday unless they're really important. And since this email started with Electrify America partially shuts down its network as its global supplier investigates safety issue with high powered charging cable, I decided it was pretty likely pretty important. So I read it. And if you caught me on social media Friday afternoon, you'll know the story. Electrify America had announced that it was turning off all of its 150 kilowatt and 350 kilowatt DC quick charging stations because of a fault with the liquid cooled cables that those units had. It didn't go into great detail, but stated that there was a quote, potential safety issue with the cable and that the manufacturer of the cables, Swiss firm Huber and Schooner, had reached out to all of its customers to recommend that charging stations fitted with those cables be temporarily switched off until a full investigation had taken place. Since that point, charging networks around the world have all made similar announcements, turning off their high powered charging stations and leaving customers with CCS quick charged cars, only lower powered 50 kilowatt charging stations to refill at. So what's exactly going on? What's caused the problem? And when can we expect it to be fixed? I did figure that it was worth making a quick update video to address these issues, in addition to my usual video, which will be coming later. According to a press release posted on the Huber & Schooner website, a German customer of the company reported an incident at one of its test sites involving a short circuit in the high-power liquid-cooled cable made by the company. Nobody was injured during the incident, and Huber & Schooner says it's already working to identify the cause of the short circuit. As a matter of extreme precaution, it's reached out to absolutely all of its customers using the liquid cooled charge cables, which use a synthetic non-conductive coolant, to recommend that until the cause of the fault had been identified, charging stations fitted with the cables be temporarily powered off. It's already said that the cooling circuit wasn't at fault. Instead, the short circuit occurred inside the plug. It's already in the process of trying to replicate the issue and is investigating exactly what occurred to cause the short circuit. But this takes time. Obviously, with such high currents and voltages in play, hundreds of volts at 100 or more amps, it's best not to take chances, hence the recommendation. A recommendation that every charging network which uses its cables seems to be following. It's worth noting, however, that in this case, Hubert and Schumer is acting out of extreme caution. It says in its statement that the cable involved was actually a prototype cable at a prototype test site, which, if I had to guess, probably means a non-public charging station attached to an automotive facility or manufacturer. It states in its press release that the first generation pre-production prototype cable involved in this incident is different to the series production cables used on customers' charging stations in so much as the series production cables have far more insulation and sealing than the affected prototype. Nevertheless, as I've already said, it's better to be cautious when you're dealing with high voltages and to conspiracy theorists out there, no, it's not some big plot to take down electric cars from within. Huber and Schooner says it's going to keep everyone posted with updates on the situation, but until then, if you're someone who makes use of these higher powered CCS charging stations while out and about, you may want to either make alternative charging arrangements or factor in some extra time to your journey planning, because at some sites, some charging stations will be turned off and there may then be a queue that you wouldn't normally get with more stations online. I'll keep you up to date with any news as and when I get it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you liked or didn't like it below. Scribble a comment. And if you want to support the channel, then there are a whole host of links below to help you do just that. I'll be back soon with more content, but until then, keep evolving.